Welcome back to Open Line. A remarkable news day today. The mayor of Nashville has admitted to an affair uh, with the Metro police officer who was assigned to her security detail. She gave the first television interview to Phil Williams, chief investigative reporter here. Uh, he joins me. We're going to start going through the calls. There are plenty of calls here, so let's start going through them. Let's go to Angela. Hello, Angela. Hi. Go right ahead. What's on your mind? Um, first of all, I got three questions. How, what led to the affair, and what kind of discipline do she think she deserves, and then how do we know it's not going to happen again? What led to the affair? Is there any sort of discipline? Yeah, and, and we really don't know what uh, led to the affair. Um, th there have been rumors apparently for a while, but uh, as far as what, you know, how it began, you know, that's not something we delved into. Uh, for, for us, the relevant point is that there was a relationship uh, where taxpayer money was potentially involved, and that has been our focus. And she did say that it began shortly after she was elected. She said so, a couple of months and tonight in the news, she said a couple of years that yeah. been going on. So that gives you some sense. As far as discipline, um, she's saying it was an affair between two consenting adults and, and she's taking responsibility and, and coming out and answering questions. Let's go to Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Yes. Go right ahead. What's on your mind? I want to know if Governor, or if, yes, Governor Haslam has released a statement about it and if it was the other way around and Governor Haslam was the one that was having the affair, if Megan Barry would be pushing for him to step down. I, I don't know. He Again, has not released a statement. Yeah, no, we've not heard from the governor and, you know, frankly, you know, right now we, we just don't know how this is going to play out. I mean, the, you know, we, we live in uh, different times. Uh, you, you have a situation where, you know, the president's accused of, you know, having an affair with a porn star and certain, there's a certain group of people that really don't think that's an issue. So, you know, and, and this is going to be such an interesting dynamic to watch, you know, because, you know, the fact that she's a woman, will, will that play out differently? We, we, we just cannot speculate about the political fallout. It's interesting. Some of uh, the political leaders on the Metro Council have already released statements. Uh, Jim Shulman, councilman at large, it's a tough day for all of us. It's a very difficult time for us in Metro government, but this is the time where we need to pull together. The council has a lot of work to do, a lot of issues pending, but it's a time for us to pull together and move forward. Bob Mendez, another councilman at large, this is obviously shocking news that is still developing. I'm sure we all have questions about what the public impact is or might be. So, and, and, and I'm seeing uh, people on Facebook, Ryan Harris says, why should she have to resign? She did nothing illegal. Right. So, again, I think it's too early to see how this plays out. Well, let's go to Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Hey, how you doing? Great. What's on your mind? Well, I've got a couple of questions. Uh, first off, I noticed when she was talking about the affair on, 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 the, line, on the open line, uh, she said that the staff members went to some, while other people went with, to other meetings or other trips. Are there any, is there any proof that she went on any of these trips with just this officer? And my second question is, um, can the city council, I don't know how the checks and balances works in local government, but can city council ask her to repay the overtime uh, or the expenses for the trip? And if not, which judging from, I guess what she was saying online, I guess she isn't considering it, is there an apparatus in place for her to be removed from office uh, by the council? Well, and, and there's a lot that this has uh, developed so quickly that we don't actually have answers to all of those questions. Uh, it is my understanding there, you know, potentially could be a a, a recall petition, uh, but you know, the, the council. I do not think there's any way they could force her to repay any money. Uh, it, there, there are just so many uncertainties right now about how this, you know, potentially plays out. Uh, and uh, that you know we're going to be working on those very questions here in the coming days um, but but I wish I had better answers to those questions but right now it's still very much a developing situation as you said you you first got word of this a few days ago so you started making requests they they filled your request pretty quickly yeah they got you the information and, 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 and I encouraged them I mean because I I, I I thought that they would know what I was looking at, uh, and I encouraged them to get me the records and get me the answers to my questions as quickly as possible. Let, let's don't belabor this point. 
Uh, and, and I have to give them credit. They have been pretty quick, quicker than normal uh, in, in their responses. Uh, as far as the question about, you know, do we know for sure whether she went on trips alone? They gave us schedules. They gave us travel uh, records that show that there were trips that she took with other staff members uh, along with Sergeant Forrest. But the schedule they gave us you know, for 2017, we only asked for one year. We didn't know how long this affair had been going on. What they gave us for 2017 showed us that there were definitely some trips where it was just the two of them. So we do know that. So there were some trips where it was just the two of them. Okay, let's go to um, Will. Hello, Will. Yeah, hey, how's it going, guys? Um, my concern is the fact that she made the comment that there was absolutely nothing going on while she was on these business trips is really kind of hard for me to believe. And, I kept, and, of course, I'm sure, Phil, you'll bring it all out. Hopefully we can find out the truth to it. But it's just hard to believe that nothing was going on as much overtime that was involved. I, I think she uh, probably chose her words a little more carefully than what you're suggesting. Uh, I think she suggested that there was nothing of a you know personal or sexual nature that occurred while he was on the clock. Uh, not necessarily that nothing occurred on these trips. That um, is how she answered it. It was while he was on the clock, while he was on uh, Metro duty. Right. Yeah, that's right. Let's go to uh, Priscilla. Hello, Priscilla. I'd like to know if when they went to Paris and Athens, he was on the clock when they were in, in the evenings together. And also there's a term called moral turpitude, and I think she needs to live up to it. Um, okay, all right. What, what the, trip, the, the trips that stand out would be uh, Paris, France, Athens, Greece. Do you have a sense of what they were doing in Paris and, and Athens, why she went there? The, the, there were various conferences. I, I think um, in Athens, Greece, there was a conference uh, sponsored by um, a, a foundation that looks at you know, up-and-coming cities. Uh, that's for Paris. I, I know they gave us a business reason. I don't have that in front of me, though. Yeah, resilience, um, resilience cities. We've actually talked about that on Open Line. I, I believe the Athens, Greece one was something to do with resilience cities. Exactly. Let's go to one more call, then we'll take a break, but stay on the line. Let's go to Susan. Hello, Susan. Hello there. Hi, what's on your mind? <clears throat> well, first of all, I'm uh, more of a city person than a mm, small town person. And um, I'm pretty used to people being stuck someplace, like actors being in their shoots all day and night with only each other and crew and directors. And there's things that go on. I think when two people are in that close of a situation, sometimes uh, those things, they lean on each other. And uh, people that they probably would not have gotten that close to probably just happens. So you, you, you um, somehow... You know she's been working very hard right. in Nashville. My council person lives just three blocks away. And I know that he and Mary, Mayor Barry have been having a lot of the photo ops around town. And she said that she was um, pretty sure that she had disappointed a lot of people. I'm feeling more disappointed for her than in her. Okay. So, All right. Thank you. So there's somebody who, I guess there's some sympathy and kind of understands how this could happen. Yeah, the, the, the line that I thought the, the, the mayor had tonight during her news conference that I did not hear today was, or earlier today, was her notion, this notion that she is human. She did not stop being human the day that she became mayor. So I, I think she believes that that viewpoint will resonate with some people, obviously not everyone. Uh, again, that's not for us to judge. That's not for me to judge. I mean, she, she is a human being who made a mistake. Now, what are the consequences? That's going to be up to the, the people in the Metro Council. That's going to be up to the voters of Nashville. You did this interview today. Um, you went out there today and did this interview. How, how, how difficult was that for you and to be in that room? I mean, just you walk in there, how difficult an interview was this? Well, you know, 
anytime I do an interview with someone who uh, has had a shortcoming, a personal shortcoming, I, I try to always see the, the humanity in that person. Uh, I, I don't take delight in anyone's downfall. Uh, and so from a personal perspective, uh, I, I, I felt for her. But there were questions that had to be asked. And, and it's up to the people of Nashville as far as how it plays out from here. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. We'll continue to take your phone calls. Hold on the line if you're there. Take a break. Be back right after this.